Hey everyone, hope you're doing good. This is Tony Francis here, author of Healed Nations Ministries, www.healednations.com, and this is your monthly schedule and appointment to hear the word of the Lord, and this one is for September 2024. I'm so excited to share with you what I received in my prayer time for the body of Christ for September 2024. But before I deliver this timely word that I know you are going to be responsible for and pray about it and add your own prophetic insights from Holy Spirit and um, wait in or add more weight to it, you know, more glory, because this is how the body of Christ work. We need each other to bring life and light and glory because we prophesy in part and we need your part as well. So share the word of the Lord with your community, with us in the comments, you know, below, however you are um, uh, hearing or listening to this word we, because we are distributing those uh, ministries across many platforms. So interact with us and uh, let us know where you are listening from and what do you feel the Holy Spirit is saying as well. We, um, you know, appreciate and cherish what you carry because the Holy Spirit in you is the same as the Holy Spirit in me and definitely it is the same as the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, right? It's not another version of Holy Spirit. He is the same third person of the Trinity that is that is with us. So um, I have started, uh, it's like a maintenance, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, you know, like a checkup or, you know, um, assessment is better word, right? Uh, to, um, you know, what's the word Holy Spirit here? To assess, you know, the words we are receiving from Holy Spirit each month, if you are following my ministry, Healed Nations. And so I've been doing this before I deliver a new word, a new monthly word, like we go to assess previous words. And we are going to check the word of the Lord for August 2024 very briefly before I submit to you what God is saying for September 2024. You know, this is very um, healthy and joyful practice to assess how fruitful the word of God was, you know. You know, we need to measure the fruit of the prophetic words we receive from the Lord. And it's so awesome to do that. And it is needed. So I was so blessed when I started assessing the words I've been receiving from Holy Spirit for my own life, for you as ministry, you know. It's awesome to track how the Word of God unfolded and the, how genuine it was. And uh, if it was uh, met or manifested in fullness or we needed to pray more and press more. So this is how the bride should act, uh, you know, concerning the word of God. If we want to really mature in the ways of the spirit and to go to the next level. So I encourage you to do that. So quickly, August 2024, if you listened or received the word I gave uh, on my website, on my YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe there as well. And, you know, on my other platforms, um, you know, it was titled Purity for the Greater Glory. And by the way, <laughs> guys, let me tell you, when I released this word, and it was beginning of August, of course, because we do those releases beginning of each month so i think mid-august you know i i started seeing 
confirmations, weighty, heavy confirmations from other ministers that live in another place, <laughs> way beyond, far from, you know, where I live and they don't follow me, of course, <laughs> you know, very, very high, you know, you know, and seasoned uh, servants of God. So they were talking about purity and I was just captured. I was just captured by the goodness of God because the Holy Spirit was delivering the same word, you know, and he was encouraging us with those confirmations. So it was just amazing to hear words like that. And uh, it, it, it brought so much joy and edification to me, you know, when I uh, watched those prophetic words from those um, seasoned, blessed uh, servants of God. And by saying seasoned, I am seasoned, but they are more seasoned, like they are elders, okay? So it, 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 it blesses your heart when uh, you receive you know, confirmations from, uh, you know, a stature of people like that, okay? So, and by the way, let me tell you, I, it's, it is also a reminder that I keep telling you each, each time that we prophesy in part and when we say I am delivering a word from Holy Spirit for September 2024, this is for you as an audience, right? Because God knows your need. He knows what you need to hear, okay, from him. So it's not that it should be the same word everywhere on the globe, right? Because we live in tribes. And this is the part I'm entrusted by Holy Spirit to bring to you, okay? And sometimes it con it is confirmed by other words, you know, same words like you know, the word of August uh, by this elder in the body of Christ. So things can happen. Confirmations happen, right? Uh, but it doesn't need to be like that because God knows the audience and the tribes we are shepherding. So it was purity for the greater glory. And I can tell you, you know, in details, the, the purity process I have been in engaging and enduring. It was just so beautiful, the promotion and purity that happened in my own life, my attitude, my personality, my um, priorities, my relationship with the Lord, and on and on and on. It was really that. Holy Spirit uh, did that in me. And of course, it is a process that will always remain, but it was... God's focus on purity, you know, for us, for August, it doesn't mean that it, it will stop, right? But it's like a theme, you know, and it was uh, fulfilled, right? And I said in my prophetic words that it is purity for the greater glory. Almost end of August, God promoted me in the anointing whoa, <laughs> you know, and I actually, I was never seeing myself being promoted in August, you know, as far as anointing and ministry wise, okay, but God, end of August, almost, you know, final week, you know, he in, suddenly he enlarged my territory and promoted me in uh, different things, but I, I can share some with you here, we, which is the ministry of intercession. And it was not something I was praying for, but suddenly I was taken to deeper and greater levels of intercession and authority, you know, for intercession. And when I received that, it was a visitation from the Lord. It was a promotion in the spirit. Uh, after that, maybe a couple of days or something like that, the Lord birthed in me a ministry for intercession, you know, and it is now on my website. It's called Check Date. It's part of the enlargement. You know, I've never engaged in something like that before on this level, like global and worldwide. And I don't want to take uh, 
time to tell you about this ministry, you can visit the website and join us. It is, uh, you know, prophetic dates each month, different than this one. This one is global, like it is the word of the Lord for September 2024. But the check date is, you know, prophetic dates for for September 2024, but the Holy Spirit highlights uh, dates and days in September and, of course, each month. Um, some of those are divine dates and others are demonic. And uh, the reason he reveals this to us as ministry is to broadcast this around the world and let the intercessors catch it <laughs> and pray into it, you know, because we want to enforce the kingdom of Yeshua on earth as it is in heaven, and we want to cancel the demonic agenda. It's I'm so excited that this ministry is birthed. It was not my idea, and it's something very new to me on this scale, and I'm so excited to see you joining. All right, so go to the website healednations.com or you can you know shortcut it by typing checkdate.healednations.com okay you can find the links um, around you in the description <clears throat> so yeah that was a, my quick assessment for august 2024 um, it was so beautiful just you know contemplating that and seeing how God performed his word. And by the way, it's not automatic because when God speaks a word, you know, we position ourselves for it by faith. And because I knew it was God's word, I positioned myself by faith and I was even, you know, praying for more purity for the greater glory. So you, you need to hear the word of God, not to be entertained, but to know his will and to position yourself for it by faith and align with him so you can be blessed, right? And so, yes, this is what happened in August 2024. You know, almost the, the first three weeks, it was purity, 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 you know, breakthroughs and, and all that. And, uh, you know, it was confirmed. It was, it was just awesome enjoying those uh, weeks, uh, you know, the, 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 the word was so active you know purity it was so active <clears throat> and then end of august the greater glory i i actually i was amazed <laughs> you know let me know in the comments below how this word in august 2024 played out for you if you if you heard it and prayed into it and saw god doing it please share this with us like i'm doing here in this quick assessment with you because it's a testimony and testimonies build they they build faith and they exalt jesus because it's always about him and um yeah let's honor god so let's go to the word of the lord for september 2024 and i'm so excited to share this with you and by the way we are wrapping a year and of course no, I, I, I'm not confused. <laughs> I know that the Gregorian year is January, you know, but the God year, you know, the Hebraic year, you know, is what we primarily or primary, no, primarily <laughs> follow, right? Um, and uh, we, we start the new God year uh, in uh, October the 2nd. Okay, so we have a month, you know, for that. So I love endings because Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith, right? And when there is an ending, I always ask the Lord to send the anointing for it. Whoa, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, it's very important to discern times and seasons, guys, because this way you pray with understanding, like Daniel, you know, he knew that it was time, so he birthed it with intercession. And so it's actually, you know, reasonable, like we're ending a year, so we want to end strong. And actually, this is part of the greater glory still, because 
it, it says in the word of God, the latter, you know, is greater than the former, the latter glory. Okay, so we are still expecting the word from August to continue as we wrap this year. So September is the last month and then we start uh, the new God year or Hebraic year and it is 5785. Okay, and um, so ask the Lord to help you finalize things to help, you know, to help you break through, to tap into fullness of blessings. And um, yeah, so I did that and I will continue to pray into this direction for myself and my family, uh, you know, like, like Lord and things because God, he doesn't only start things, but he ends things powerfully. And you need to know that and discern it, align with it and pray it into existence. And you will see it. You will see it as you believe, you know, as you believe. He is, he is a faithful, living God and we love him and we worship him in Jesus' mighty name. So that, not, that was not my word for September 2024. It is like, uh, you know... Uh, a free nugget <laughs> for you you know just wanted to mention that uh, I want you to finalize I want you to end strong and you know so yeah it's so good to know about that it's so good to know about that you, you know I'm so happy that I shared this with you um, so pray into this direction like Lord you are the author and the finisher so let's finish strong you know God can you know, um, and business deals for you, uh, you know, um, whatever things that were uh, going around the mountain for a while, you know, in this focused month, you know, September before October the 2nd, you know, um, you can ask the Lord, you can put a demand on the anointing of the finishing, of the finisher anointing, because God will always respect his timing. Okay, and so he will end things. He will break through for you finally, you know, like final breakthrough. Of course, some things will continue for the next year, but I know, I'm sure that some things are on God's heart for you to end strong. Okay, could be ending a relationship <laughs> that's not in his will anymore you know, or a ministry to birth a new one or build on it, whatever. So each one is a case. Now let's go to the word of the Lord for uh, September 2024. And wow, 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 wow. What a privilege that God entrusted me to share this word for you and release it into the atmosphere. And I'm not just talking to people. You are precious. You know, I, you know, God, you know, you know, um, deliver this for you. It's not random. You're listening to it because you need it or someone else need it in your family or, you know, circle of friends. Okay. But it's not a, a random thing because I pray before releasing those. And so you are here for a reason. Um, but I'm so excited. You know, I am delivering this word for you. Like, wow, actually, I was not expecting receiving such a word, but I love God's heart, the compassion, whoa, the compassion he has for his people and beyond because he wants everyone to be saved. OK, so when I was praying for the body of Christ for September 2024, I felt the Holy Spirit was mentioning to me uh, that he is breaking through for many for the mental health realm or area you know the mental issues the mental health i feel that the lord this month will deal greatly with the enemies of your mental and hear me please so when we say mental, because I know, you know, we have connotation to words. Um, directly, you will, you will say, I'm not depressed. I'm not anxious. 
you know, this is major part and many are suffering with that and God will be dealing with this, you know, very seriously. But also the mental health is everything that is not sound mind, <laughs> you know, honestly. You know, the word of God says that you are, you were given, you know, a spirit, um, you know, or you were given love and power and, and sound mind. And everything that is not of love and power and sound mind is not, you know, is, is a mental uh, problem. And God wants to deal with that. Some even, you know, are not aligned with their thoughts to the word of God to the mind of Christ, and this is called also mental, you know. Uh, maybe it is a, an eye-opening revelation to you, but yeah. So this month, guys, God will deal with the body of Christ uh, and beyond, but mainly for the body of Christ because they, they will hear that and believe the word of the Lord for it. And so God will be like uh, touching this area very strong. So let's believe for depression to end, anxiety, medicating, cycles, even if it is just, you know, uh, temporary or short term, you know, let's call it out, you know, or, or let's, let's, you know, sever it by faith in Jesus' name. So not just the chronic, you know, problems in the mental area, but also um, the, uh, the short term, because God wants to get rid of this for good in Jesus' mighty name. So, wow, I'm, I'm seeing in the spirit this beautiful vision right now. I don't know how to, uh, to um, explain that, because those things are spiritual, but it feels to me like a realm of sanity. Whew. Or I see, I see it like a white, gentle, peaceful realm, or, or, you know, like not cloud, mist maybe, like coming down, and I can discern that it is the sanity, the sound mind, this, this renewal for the mental. Whoa. And I also see angels in this realm assigned to serve us with that. So if you are struggling with that, your family, your church, you know, send this word for them because God will be dealing with this. God is in the business this month of ooh, ending this like, wow, like, wow. <laughs> you know, so I pray that this word is really on time for you and bless you. Pray into it, comment below, send it to someone. And I know, you know, when I do an assessment, you know, in October, you know, let me also, um, you know, share your testimony. So send us your testimonies end of this month of September through the website or in the comments below, end of this month, please be faithful. If you've been dealing with, you know, mental things, you know, maybe you will tell me, Tony, I was struggling with a mindset that kept me in bondage and it was over. You know, I was, I, I was delivered. Um, I have my mind renewed, you know, maybe you've been, uh, <laughs> you know, in bondage for cigarettes, let's say. You know, and the idea is keeping you in bondage, you know. And maybe you will tell me, Tony, the idea is broken. Like, I don't need to smoke to deal with my stress anymore. Because, you know, some ideas or ideologies keeps us in bondage. So each one is different, okay. When you have a testimony, send it to us, you know, in a way or another, let us know about it. And I will you know, include your testimony, you know, end of or beginning of October when I release a new prophetic word for October, you know, when I do the assessment for September. So, yeah. Wow, what a word, guys. I'm so excited. 
I'm so excited. I know that our mental health has been challenged a lot, a lot, <laughs> especially with the things, you know, overwhelming us on media, on social media, you know, the, the wokeism, the, you know, the things that we are seeing, we've never seen on the scale before. So I know it was a lot for us, our thoughts, our emotions, our appetite for things, our decisions. It was like a stress after stress, oppression, you know, because the devil wants to alter us into his image and not the glory of Jesus. He wants to, you know, deform us, but he is under our feet in Jesus' mighty name. So uh, I'm so happy that the Lord will be, you know, dealing with this in His holiness and love for His people. And even if you're not already in God's people, if you're not already a Christian, ask Jesus in your heart and, and receive this word. You know, let the Lord renew you, okay? So God bless you. Thank you for listening. And I trust that the Holy Spirit will put someone on your heart to share this with. So God bless you. Visit my website, www.healednations.com and join us, join the community, join the new ministry we birthed, check date, and follow us wherever we are so you can be built up in the Lord because in the end, days and time you need a strong sane uh, community you know that is um, bible based and by the way for those who love the prophetic pray about joining my avenues where i mentor you to grow in the prophetic all right so you can learn more about that on my website and thank you for partnering with us generously financially this month you know I tell you the truth, your sowing is helping us reaching many around the world. And in heaven, one day, you know, some people will run at you <laughs> or to you and they will tell you, thank you for sowing into Hilled Nations Ministries because of your little or generous sowing. The word of God reach us, reached us, you know, and the ministry of the Lord. And so know that you are sowing in a trusted breakthrough prophetic ground not only you will send a blessing to someone but you will also receive your own harvest all right so god bless you and thank you for listening to this and um, we'll see you the next month in october when we meet around the lord again to hear from him his new will and blessings and assignments for us